What's up, y'all, man? It's Cam, bro. I'm bringing y'all another video, dog. Straight like that, bro. First of all, man, thank y'all for 2,000 subscribers, bro. Y'all know what that means. Story time is dropping this Friday, bro. Yes, this Friday. Make sure you tap into that. But as usual, comment down below what y'all want to see next time, bro. Let's get into it, man. Today's topic, the first date, bro. Now, understand that the first date is extremely important. Um, especially if you're trying to get into a relationship uh, because first impressions in general are important You feel me you go into a job interview something like that, right? You got to dress the part you dress like you know what you're talking about You dress like you like you got that, that like you got some sense, bro You feel me you looking nice you cleaned up you smell good you look good everything you feel me and you talk as if you as if you got all the confidence in the world in the job interview because you want them to have that good first impression so that they can fucking hire you, right? so that's important when you making friends in general honestly that's important too like who want to be cool with the kid that comes off as weird who wants to who wants to be cool with a kid that 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 comes off as you know someone you wouldn't normally fuck with you feel me like first impressions are extremely extremely important they set the tone and they can honestly make a reputation for who you are uh, as a person you know what i mean now is that fair not necessarily but that's just how human nature works dog we go off of what we see first now the first day, bro. Understand that the game works before the first day even begins, bro. Before it even begins. Now, understand that when dealing with a female, you must look for the choosing signals. If you don't look for choose, listen, if she don't give you choosing signals and you cold approaching, bro, it's going to lead to a lot of confusion and a lot of games being played and you're not going to know what to do in the future because you didn't gauge her interest level because you didn't get any choosing signals. What is a choosing signal? You know what I mean? I've been over this before, bro. She's looking at you. She wants to talk to you. She's around you a little more often. You feel me? Stuff like that. You have to pick up on those choosing signals. And when you do pick up on these choosing signals, you feel me? That's when you can go ahead and make your move sliding her dms well, however you're gonna do it however you're gonna step down on her do it once you see the choosing signals bro now understand that you need to be very clear on where you are in your life right now some people want a relationship some people don't want a relationship you need to make that clear to yourself because understand that before the first date even starts you shouldn't even be taking her on a date if she's not your girl understand that if she's not your girl or at least y'all are not seriously talking like that yet then there's no reason to be taking her out on dates now why you know what i mean because a lot of people are like oh Oh, well, you know, what's the point of even because think of it like this, bro. A lot of females use guys as free fucking meals, bro. Females can get free meals for, for, for days, weeks, months off of just going out on dates with guys. They can literally go on Tinder and you know how Tinder works for females. They get tons of matches every damn day, right? They can get free meals from every single dude on any sit on any given day because that's how it works on tinder and that's how a lot of guys think you feel me they think that they got to take the girl out and pay for her and all this in reality and, and, and hoping that they can bring her back to the crib and get down in reality that's not even her intentions at all her intentions is just to go there and use you uh so that you can pay for it eat food and dip and never talk to your ass again now you ghosted and now you done lost 40 50 60 dollars going to motherfucking uh, i don't know nigga, red lobster or something like that you didn't took a, a female that you're not even talking to the red lobster you feel me so that's why if you're not in a relationship bro there's only two places that you should be bringing her number one your crib or number two her crib bro honestly those are the only two places you should be bringing her if she's not your girl or if she's not uh, uh exclusively talking to you other than that, bro, if you are trying to get in a relationship, okay, then fine. Maybe you could take her out on a, on, a, on a date. Now, as I always say, bro, you must, you must, you must make sure that she lives up to your standards. She must have some value. What does she bring to the table? Does she deserve to be taken out on a date? Does she deserve to be exclusively talking to you? You must assess all this before you even go on a date. See what I'm talking about? How the game applies even before it begins, dog. You must assess this. You must assess her interest level. If she got low interest in you, then there's no reason you should be taking her out on a date because she's already got low interest in you. You should have other options in your rotation. You should have other females that you should be worried about. There's no reason to be sitting here taking a female that has low interest in you out on a date. What is that gonna do? A date don't raise interest, bro. A date does not raise interest. It just gives you time to connect with that person more, but it don't raise your it don't raise her interest to in you. You think that you think that's gonna you think that's gonna make her attracted to you more because you took her out on a fucking date? That don't matter. It doesn't matter. So like I said, bro, you make sure you assess all that stuff before because you make sure yet you want to bring a high interest female, a female that deserves to be talking to you, a female that brings something to the table, bro. Like I said, if not, bro, all you need to be taking her to is your crib, bro, or something like that. So, boom, first date, okay? Understand that you should set up the date so that you don't have to spend too much damn money, bro, because too many dudes try to flex 
uh, uh, try to flex how much they got in their wallet by taking her to some fancy ass restaurant. It don't matter that much, my nigga. Food is food, bruh. Food is food. Females want to eat just like you want to eat, dog. Taking her to Red Lobster versus taking her to fucking In N Out is not going to make a huge difference, dog. As long as it's good food. That's it, dog. Now, understand, I know a lot of y'all are young. So when it comes to who pays for the date, it doesn't matter too, too much. Honestly, y'all overthink this. You can pay for the whole date if you want to. Like I said, y'all be you, if you talking exclusively like that, right? If you plan on making this your girl, something like that, right? Then it's cool to pay for the whole date because that means that she's earned it, that she's deserved that, right? She's val she she's proven her worth to you. She values your time. Now you can go half as well because I, like I said, I know a lot of y'all is young, bro. Maybe you don't have the funds like that, but it's cool either way, bro. A lot of females these days will say, "Oh, a real man will pay for you. Uh, a, a real man will pay for the whole date." In fact. A lot of toxic females these days are saying, oh, a real man would buy you a whole uh, uh, Birkin bag or send it back to the streets. Y'all know what I'm talking about. That's all cap, bro. Don't let them scare you and intimidate you like that, bro. That's all cap and that's toxic, dog. A real man is going to take a female wherever it's financially... Uh, um, financially acceptable for him to go right if you listen bro if you low on funds and just admit that dog you were low on funds you trying to stack this bread and save up for something more bro fuck you look like taking a female out to to to, to nobu or something like that spending all your money and now you get back home after the date you ain't got no money you ain't got no money, bro. You got $10 in your pocket, bro. Save up that money. Chase the bag before anything, bro. You don't need to take on no extravagant ass date. Now, on this date, bro, it's important, important, important to keep masculine frame, bro. No female wants a goofy ass nigga to be talking to, uh, to be talking to her, right? You don't want to be the goofy dude that's, ah, ha, 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 you feel me? Ah, you, do, you, you, you doing too much. You too friendly, bro. You doing too damn much. You need to relax, bro. Understand that masculine frame is all about just being you, bro. Being comfortable in your own skin and just being relaxed you feel me um you know what i mean and it's okay to crack jokes here and there but make sure that you're not being goofy you're not doing too damn much okay um you know what i mean the whole point of the date is to learn more about the other person right listen bro when you on a date the whole point of it is to listen to what they have to say so what you want to do is ask questions about her keep her talking the same thing with the text game bro in the text game i told y'all that y'all want her to do most of the talking same thing in real life same thing on a date bro you want to keep her doing the most of the talking that's going to build more attraction to you she's going to become more attracted to you because you're picking her brain you're learning more about her right while you stay in your masculine frame, uh-huh, oh, oh, that's what's up, you feel me, you just responding to whatever she's saying, that's the key to good conversation, just asking, the, uh, knowing what questions to ask, that's the key to good conversation, now, I know a lot of y'all are, are, are worrying about, oh, what about an awkward silence, what about, well, how, do, how do I fill that gap when there's an awkward silence, what if we stop talking, understand this, dog, you don't have to keep talking 24-7, it's not like one of my YouTube videos where I'm just talking throughout the whole thing, dog, you can allow a little bit of silence, the only way it'll become awkward is if you're awkward about it, bro, silence is just fine, bro, because, listen, most of the time you're taking her out to eat, okay, it's cool, bro, if you just want to eat, then just eat, dog, you feel me, be relaxed, bro, like, just chill, you don't have to keep talking all the damn time, in fact, talking all the damn time and try to feel the silence, right, that's going to make it even more uh, awkward for you, that's going to make it even worse for you, right, it's going to make it seem like, oh, you desperate to look for something to talk to, and that's going to that's gonna make you seem a little bit more better, because see, an alpha will sit in that silence and be comfortable, you feel me, and, and, and he'll talk when it's time for him to talk, you find those little pockets of when there's conversation to be had, and you have a good conversation, you feel me, now, understand this, dog, an alpha male, if you're an alpha male, she will be attracted to you to the point where she will let you hit the first night, bro. And that is just facts. That is just facts. A lot of women are sitting here, they'll tell you, oh, you gotta wait so uh, however long, bro. That's all cap. It's all cap. If you, listen, if she like you that much, she will let you hit the first night. On God, she'll let you hit the first night. Listen, if you show beta traits or if you blue pit or she don't have the, uh, that much interest in you, that's why I said be careful about taking her out on these dates, bro, because you're not going to get none after the date, especially if you're paying for it. See, if you if you dealing with a female that has low interest, you pay for the whole date and you ain't even going to get none because she had low interest in the first place, then you just took three L's right there. That's three L's, bro. You want to make sure that or you want to make sure that you have the highest chance of doing something afterwards. Now, you know what I mean? This isn't 100 percent. Obviously, this isn't every single woman. You're going to have some times where you know what I mean? You're not going you know, you're not going to get down afterwards. And you know what? That's perfectly fine. That's cool. Whatever you keep going. You should always have options until you actually in a relationship anyway okay but you know what i mean if you want the highest chance of, of, of bringing her back to the crib or something like that 
make sure she has high interest and understand that if the more alpha you are, the higher your chances are, bruh. Meaning that the more you held masculine frame, the more you on your purpose, on your grind, the more that you have shit going for you in life, the more uh, the more she's going to want to bring you back home, dog. And that's just how it is. That's just how it is, bro. So don't let her give you that, oh, oh well, you know, I, I, I normally just wait, guys, wait. 99 95% of the time when you hear oh, you know what I mean? I, I'm gonna wait until it's because she didn't have that much interest in you or maybe you didn't hold masculine frame Something went wrong, bro. Something went off uh, because you know what I mean? You can hit the first night because listen dog I know y'all know this but in college There's a lot of these females You know what I mean that will literally not know you and then let you smash that night that you met them, bro They'll go to a party and then they'll let you smash that night, bro. High school, too, but I'm just saying that's just how it is. So when she telling you, oh, she wants you to wait, bruh, most of the time it's because you show too many beta traits, bruh. So anyway, man, that's the keys to the first date. That's how you win the first date, dog. I hope y'all enjoyed this video, man. Love y'all. I'm out of here, man. Peace.